guys, Phil Bradford here, the Rebel Network, and I'm here today in Sam Sneed's uh, tavern in Virginia, USA, and I'm here today with uh, celebrity chef Eddie Esposito. And uh, Eddie's actually also a partner of the Referral Institute, uh, and one of his hobbies is food and uh, helping people connect over food. So I thought I'd grab him um, before we start our meal to get some tips on how you can actually build relationships around food or a hobby. Yeah. Well, actually, it's been a fundamental piece, even unconsciously, for me for a very long time. And uh, I used to do things as a chef. I've cooked for four U.S. presidents, and I've cooked for a lot of people. And my, I took that experience and started putting it into effect in my business. And what I realized along the way, though, is I was doing it just wrong. I was the one preparing all the food, bringing out these perfectly prepared things. And, yeah, yes, it did a lot to impress guests or things like that, but I missed the point. The point of it was to create relationships. And when I was late one day and couldn't get things done, I asked people to come in and help. It was like a big sigh of relief for everybody. And I had people making salad dressings and people, you know, teaching them how to do things, uh, make steaks or make uh, sauces. And I realized right then that was the magic to it, is it involved the people in the preparation. And even the ones who didn't want to do it, they would clean up, polish glasses, set the tables. It was really a, a remarkable thing. So my key tip there would be, Yep, they have have these food events, but you know, don't be the, you don't have to be the one who does everything. It's really a lot better if they come in and participate. Your other people will enjoy it so much more. Brilliant. Great tip. Eddie, dinner's on the way. Yes it is. Thanks for your time. All right, my friend. Look forward to doing it again. <laughs> Take care.